Hello everyone. Today I want to talk to you about an important part of the Mass called the Eucharistic Prayer. Now, the word Eucharistic is a very big word and it's a Greek word and it means thank you. If you go on holiday where they speak Greek today, if you want to say thank you these days, you will say F Christo. So at the time of Jesus, at the time when the scriptures were written, it would be pronounced Eucharisto. So this big long prayer is a big thank you to God. And it starts after we've sung the Holy Holy and finishes with the great Amen. And the first thing that we do in the Eucharistic prayer, I've got my prayer book here to remind me, is that we begin by remembering that everything comes from God. So the first thing that we thank God for is the gift of everything. Life, the world, the universe, each other, everything. Everything. God is the source of all life. And then we call down the Holy Spirit to change the gifts of bread and wine that have been brought forward at the offertory into the body and blood of Jesus himself. So an important part of the thank you the Eucharistic prayer is calling down the Holy Spirit to change the gifts of bread and wine. Because I can't do it, you can't do it, we can't do it, but the Holy Spirit does do it every time we celebrate Mass. And then we take the bread, and this is very important, we say the words of Jesus and do the actions of Jesus at the Last Supper. Remember, with his friends, he gathered to celebrate the Jewish Passover meal, which had set words and set actions. But Jesus changed the words. When he took the bread, he said, this is my body. And then when he took the cup filled with wine, he said, this is my blood. So in the Eucharistic prayer, we say the words that Jesus said over the bread and over the wine. And the Holy Spirit, when we do that, changes the bread and the wine into the body and blood of Jesus himself. And then we have what's called the proclamation of faith. So the proclamation of faith reminds us of what we believe. So one of the words says, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. It's called the mystery of faith. And then <clears throat> when we said that together, the priest continues the big long prayer, remembering that Jesus died on the cross, he rose from the dead and ascended into heaven. So that's so important in our faith that Jesus died on the cross, rose from the dead and ascended into heaven. That's another thing that we want to say a very big thank you to God for. And then when we've done that, we, we pray for that everybody will be gathered together as one. So that we'll all be one family and all be at peace and loving each other through this wonderful gift of Jesus in the Eucharist. And then we pray for those who've died and we pray for the church around the world. We pray for the bishop and for the Pope. So we're remembering that we're part of a bigger family and we're thanking God for being part of a bigger family. And then we pray, we ask Our Lady and the saints to pray for us so that we'll all gather together as one in Jesus. And then at the end of the Eucharistic prayer, the priest holds up what's now become the body and blood of Jesus Christ himself and says, through him and with him and in him. O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Again, a big thank you, remembering everything comes from God. And we finish it all by saying, Amen, which means, yes, I agree. So this is a very important prayer in the Mass, where we remember everything comes from God, so we thank God for that. We call down the Holy Spirit 
to change the bread and wine into the body and blood of Jesus Christ himself. Then we remember the words of Jesus at the Last Supper. And when we say those words in the Mass, the Holy Spirit changes the bread and the wine into the body and blood of Jesus Christ himself. Then we remember what a great gift it is to have our faith. Then we pray that we'll all be one as we celebrate this Mass. And then we pray for the church throughout the world. We pray for the Pope and for the Bishop and for everybody. And then we remember those who've died because we've remembered that Jesus died, then rose again. So we proclaim our faith. And then we ask the saints to pray with us. And then at the end, we remember everything comes from God. It's this big thank you to God. So let's remember when we hear the Eucharistic prayer, we can spend that time listening to the words and saying, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.